Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this one with the GTA 5 heist music playing in the background, okay? Because it's one of those situations. Needless to say, I don't think that we had ever seen a plot twist this big in the entire history of mankind. Unless my memory is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom. I probably think it is because I've never seen anything like this, okay? Slickers are apparently suiting the hell up. They're, everybody's like, hey, we're tired of people walking all over us, man. No longer. This is how we're gonna fight back. The community got their mister blockers on right now there are people on hopium as well i don't know what is going on like the video if you think mr beast need to respond dislike the video if you think the fans do not owe an explanation he's above everybody and he do not need to respond i want to know where you at because what just happened today crazy shout out to the homie geeks and gamers and i want to also play you this clip as well which is absolutely wild all right check this another day it. another jimmy mr beast drama video and it is truly out of control at this point in time it's hard to kind of keep up with all the drama and all yeah. of the former people that were connected to mr beast and all the accusations that are going on and the new accusations and the new people that are popping up and then other people that are getting pulled into other drama and some of it even i've gotten some questions on so i'm not going to shy away from any of that because i'll okay. answer anything and I'll talk about anything, but first let's focus in on Mr. Beast has a new upload. Now, if you remember when Mr. Beast uploaded his last video, there was a lot of reports about the amount of dislikes that were on that video. Yeah, and yeah, then you yeah, had yeah, Keemstar yeah. and Drama Alert essentially saying, Mr. Beast team's already told us that they have a 99% like to dislike ratio on that video, so the extension is lying. Mr. Beast has a 99%, which was higher than the ch channel average. Everyone with a working brain and the slightest bit yeah. of common sense looked at that and said, there's the, the amount of backlash this is generating, right? Like, suckers are pulling millions of views, right? Millions of views. The dog pack guy, brand new channel, comes out, drops a video, easy 11 million views drops part two part two last time i checked it was like eight million views in a day uh, oh right now it's gonna be easily over 10 million right what are we talking about and then you got other youtubers everybody's like talking about it everybody's like covering the story it's easily has reached at least 20 million unique people absolutely no way that's accurate there's no way that he has a 99 percent based on all the controversy going on around mr beast there's no way well of course there was no way now you've got his latest video that was uploaded uh two hours ago and it currently has 896,000 upvotes to 347,000 downvotes and i think that that's going to get even worse but just like the last video you go into the comment section and all you see is positive comments positive 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 no negativity whatsoever no bad comments nothing questioning mr beast nothing questioning him nothing questioning his team i, I guess mr beast really paid the comment section in their dreams one million dollars <laughs> one million dollars to the comment section in their dreams baby nothing questioning anything surrounding him it's just people begging for chandler people talking about how much they love mr beast how great the content is how great the editors are there's literally no negativity in this comment section just like the last video so absolutely insane okay so that's going on and yeah, that's gonna be it. something we're gonna have to continue to monitor i think according to if i got it i, I might have gotten it uh, slightly incorrect last time when ludwig <sighs> was talking about mr beast he said that Mr. Beast told him he was going to address everything once it all came out. I think he meant the third dog pack video that is going to be released. Then Mr. Beast Jimmy is supposedly going to address all of this. That's crazy, bro. Even Avengers Infinity War only had one sequel, which was the end game. <laughs> And now it looks like that we're gonna be getting uh, Avengers Endgame Part 3, man. What is going on right now? What is going on? And right now, Suggers are anticipating that third dog pack video. It's crazy. The amount of stuff that came out, right? It started with Chris Tyson's situation, or I should say a year ago, when Sunny V2 was like, hey, man, Chris Tyson is gonna prove to be a disaster for Mr. Beast. He wasn't lying. He was in line. Suckers went crazy over at him, right? They tried to cancel him, but ultimately he never responded, I believe, right? So he just rolled with the punches, and a year later, man was proven right. And now there is, like, this situation that I want to get into in a second. It's insane. Man. I still don't really know how that's going to go, because I believe Jimmy Mr. Beast is essentially just a robot at this point in time who doesn't have any real true emotions. He's just programmed to uh, give the algorithm whatever it wants, say exactly what needs to be said, and not give any genuine opinions whatsoever. That's how I view him, so it's actually going to be very interesting to hear him have to address this controversy and how he's going to approach that and how his mannerisms are going to be when he's talking about all of this. That will be interesting. He's probably going to be smiling during that but but uh, to be honest and to be fair though i don't think he's gonna respond though guys think about it this way right 
One in the comments if you think he's gonna respond, two in the comments if you think he's not gonna respond. I think for Mr. Beast, it's gonna be a lose-lose situation whether he responds or not responds. Because think about it this way, if he doesn't respond, yes, this is gonna snowball, this is gonna continue. But let's be real, after everything comes out, a year from now, people are gonna forget though. Maybe not you, people are still gonna remember, but but like, there's gonna be bigger issues of, you know, there's gonna be other problems that are gonna be out there, right? So people are gonna be talking about that. There's probably gonna be another drama out there. So people are gonna forget about it. Let's be real, okay? How many times uh, th this has happened where a drama happened, people are really pissed off about it, but then a, a week later, a month later, yeah, who cares, man? Who cares? I, I know some of you would be disagreeing, and if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. But here's the thing, though, right? Like, think about it. Just go back in time. Think about all the dramas that you heard in your life, and do you give a crap about them? Now, years later, months later, days later, weeks later, probably not majority at least okay majority at least don't give a damn so maybe he's just like trying to weather the storm or it's also being reported if you want to take ludwig's word for it once everything is out uh, then he's gonna respond and maybe once all everything is out maybe he's just gonna respond once and for all and that's it maybe he's gonna do that now if he responds he's probably gonna apologize but if he apologize then it's gonna go two ways either people are gonna be pissed off about it and gonna stay pissed off about it or people are gonna be pissed off about it but then they're gonna be like okay you know what yeah i don't fly with it but okay that apology is good so you need to rebuild your image and all that but we're gonna give you a second chance whatever right so it's gonna go in two directions i don't see it going in any other direction okay if he doesn't respond then yeah over time people are gonna forget about it and it's gonna be like nothing ever happened because after all his audience is always gonna be kids uh, he's promoted big time on the normal youtube as well as the youtube kids apps as well so yeah I, I, yeah to be honest though i don't see much happening to be fair to be fair he might be under some illegal uh, illegal trouble with lawsuits and this and that but he got a lot of money man like so yeah he's gonna be fine ultimately though y you know what i mean then you had this video right here from jake uh the weddle or jake weddle who is a former mr beast employee who was featured in dog pack video and there was a lot of stuff that was said within that video then jake the viking someone that we've had here there's jake the viking and jake the weddle what <laughs> <laughs> Yo, which one is which, man? Which one is which? Which one is which? Which one is which? I'm having a hard time to uh, Jake the Weddle and Jake Viking. Jake the Viking, Jake the Weddle, Jake the Viking. Damn, homie. You're on this channel several times, and someone that I know um, was also kind of tied into that controversy. And from that point in time, Jake the Viking has made an absolute fucking fool of himself. An absolute fool of himself and how he's responded on social media. I've said as much to him privately. He's making him an idiot of himself. The worst responses I've ever seen after he made his one response he should have shut up because the internet's going to be the internet he decided to involve himself in the mr beast controversy as a former employee putting out there jimmy knew and getting and, and giving all of these opinions oh, yeah. about mr beast crew and chris tyson he's right to do that but holy shit bro <laughs> your brother-in-law who worked for yeah. mr beast was an rso damn homie damn oh, for context apparently jake the viking guy right he was always uh siding with the community all this like uh, whenever somebody would expose mr beast he would be the first one would be like jimmy knew he knew he knew he did it he did it he did it he knew he knew he knew he knew he would he said that he knew right basically in the context of jimmy knew about chris tyson's fetish about uh, being attracted to minors right yeah yeah so yeah when that happened he just said he knew and then fast forward the uh, another drama happens right this is something that i wanted to talk about earlier but lost track of it but apparently then we find out that jimmy apparently hired an rso rso being a uh, register offender so uh, the, the guy that they hired was this guy in the background that you see and he is brother-in-law or somebody connected with J jake the viking the guy who said jimmy knew about chris tyson's being attracted to minors or having a fetish um attract being attracted to minors right so this guy jimmy hires this guy and this guy has done actual stuff apparently is what we're hearing there's a police report so it's official it's legit there's a police we do not know what exactly he did but holy crap like we don't need to know right the report there's a real police report that says that this man did some crap to a minor between the ages of 1 to 11. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
So maybe he done crap with an 11 year old, 10 year old, 9, 8. We don't know exact age, but it's between 1 and 11. So yeah, it's a wild situation. It's a crazy situation. And Jimmy knew about it. And apparently Jake the Viking has a connection with this guy too. So now uh, he's also being dragged into it as well. So you're going to sit there and start throwing stones from your glass house? And now the internet finds out about it, of course you're going to get roasted and you deserve to get roasted. And it's gotten even worse. So Jake Weddle makes this video about Jake the Viking. Jake the Viking makes a video, puts it on his channel, but he deletes the video. Damn. Here's Camp. Yeah, this is Jake the Viking, by the way. Nuggets, who has the video over on his channel where he reacted to it. <laughs> what an absolute yeah. disaster. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Reaction to our reaction to our reaction. This is reactionception right now. And, and to be fair though, this reaction video kind of saved the day, right? Like, holy crap. Who needs Wayback Machine when you got reaction videos, man? Damn, homie. Disaster this is. I can't believe how bad it's gotten. Then you have Keemstar on social media saying Jake Franklin knew. <laughs> Then you have Jake saying Daniel Keem robs the cradle. There you see, your brother-in-law robs the elementary school. Then you have Keem's, I think this is Keemstar's fiance, screenshotting a comment that Jake the Viking made congratulating Keemstar. But you were congratulating him, now you're saying he robs the cradle. What a disaster this is, man. Like, what an absolute shit show. And ultimately, what it comes back to, what it ultimately comes back to is Mr. Beast is an absolute, like, terrible leader. And he has created such a horrible environment, and I don't That's know what's insane. ultimately going to come from this. I do think that Mr. Beast ultimately will be fine because he's way too big. He's almost yeah. too big to fail, and he has the machine behind him. But you've got the Amazon situation that's happening. Um, Amazon reportedly is not very happy with Mr. Beast and uh, a lot of the stuff that's been going on with the uh, Beast Games project that they paid for. Clearly, YouTube can't be happy about all of this, watching this all play out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. YouTube is likely not happy that they don't want anything like this. But like he said, he's way too big, right? And this is what I was trying to say. Yeah, he's gonna he's getting a huge hit right now. Don't get me wrong, okay? Don't get me wrong. But ultimately, man, like I, I don't see much happening to be to be honest though. Rules are different for different people. Rules are different for me, rules are different for you, rules are absolutely wildly different for people on the top uh like mr beast absolutely they are and i want to show you this so shout out to the homie the quad ring uh he covered the story let's see Most this. hilarious thing mr beast has reportedly hired the same lawyer as that harvey creep i i i really okay yeah i'm hearing a lot about this now i i don't know anything about it but i'm of course automatically assuming that that lawyer protected somebody of some someone that probably did crap like that too right that's what i'm assuming if you have any idea put it in the comments i mean this can't be true you see rosanna pancino who's really grifting off of this hard i respect it says mr beast has hired matthew hiltzik's crisis management company matthew hiltzik began his pr career at weinstein's miramax matthew hiltzik is a lawyer and publicist who represents politicians and hollywood figures Shortly oh, after okay. Mr. Beast hired Matthew, a Mr. Beast company email was, quote, leaked. I believe that this was their first strategic move in attempting to rebuild Jimmy's image to the public. Well, what they're trying... Yeah, go queen. Rosanna, go... Rosanna, Rosanna is killing it, man. S sister out here killing it, man, because you know what? Last last year it was, I guess, right? Rosanna, uh, sister called on Mr. Beast for faking videos uh, indirectly. Indirectly, because apparently she was uh, supposed to be number two or number... Th uh, three spot in Jimmy's uh, video uh, and Jimmy kind of demoted her and put her at the wrong spot something like that right there was drama about that people called her petty and all that right that happened and now she's on a way up though she's on a comeback she's rolling she rolling she rolling okay sister out here killing it though thing to do is say hey um you know we're woke now why does being woke insulate you from having your employees putting their hands on people they shouldn't and using your name to get them into the bedroom don't know but the left seems to think that that's okay just like the left seems to think that being trans is the most impenetrable plot armor in history you see this video the real mr beast leak document watch here it says hello former mr beast employee here the video and insight from Ro rosanna paint a really good picture as to how jimmy acts a lot of this stuff uh -oh. is just Wait people getting it. fake outraged um you know in this particular document that i've seen there's really you know <laughs> there's very little that is like wild a lot of it's like sales 101 stuff um you know and you see people are like oh my god they're he's perpetuating uh boys will be boys culture by saying it's okay for the boys to be childish if talent wants to draw a wang on a whiteboard in the video or do something stupid let them assuming they know the risks and aren't missing the context on why it's not safe people like when we're in our natural element of stupidity really do like everything you can to empower empower the boys when filming 
and help them make content, help them be idiots. Well, I don't think I would be getting outraged about that because he creates yeah. content for kids. Kids, yeah. I mean, kids, I grew up watching, you know, Jackass and stuff like that. Uh, kids like, I mean, crotch shots are legendary. Uh, farts are still legendary. Uh, and I'm 40 years old. So yeah, I, yeah, of course, hundred percent. There has been uh, a lot of drama that is uh, that shouldn't be drama. Uh, there are, of course, like actual, actual uh, uh, things in this drama that matter, right? Like he hired an RSO, right? Uh, his best friends apparently uh, attracted to minors, essentially. And now what we're hearing is that he never really fired him. Oh shit! Oh, that, and this is not a shocker to me. I guess like to uh, people out there, and I guess if you're if you can put one and one together, you you know, like, it's not a shocker, right? Of course, like, on papers, uh, in his statement, he's like, hey, I'm firing him, Mr. Uh, uh, Eva Chris Tyson. But let's be real, right? Like, he's not, though, behind the scenes. And that's what we're hearing, allegedly. Wait for I don't really see a lot of the stuff that the left is getting all really upset about. I don't see a lot of it as any big deal. Um, it says here, we don't fake things. Make sure to prep contestants and try to create an environment where they feel comfortable talking. If you wrote a banger piece of content, but it's a 50-50 chance of working, write another piece of content. Content is limited. Don't be lazy. Run. I mean, this is, I want famous people in our videos. No dull moments in videos. You can't fake intensity. All this stuff is 100% fine. So a lot of this is like, oh my God, the crisis management company. Yeah, like a lot of money is on the line in here. Ultimately, I was uh, reading it, too. not necessarily reading, but watching a guy uh, made a video. He made a video and he was reading the entire Mr. Beast uh, like documents, right? The Dagal leaked essentially. And Mr. Beast was saying that, hey, we want A players, not C players. Yeah, understandable. And generally speaking, on that alone, respect, right? Respect. Yeah, absolutely. I, you, you want to see your team killing it. You want to see yourself do good. You want to see your team killing it. Yeah, you you want to you want a player. So absolutely, this happens all the time, right? Like wh whatever sports you watch, if you watch NBA, you want to see a players in your team that you're supporting. The, the the you know whatever. For example, FIFA, right? Like yeah, you want your countries, your country's team to have a players. You don't want your countries. Uh, having seed players, right? Ultimately, you want your country, your culture, your people to win and have a victory. That's completely fair. That's understandable. So people are also making drama out of it, which is like, yeah, like that, like damn, that's not even drama though. But wait, funny. I'm not surprised. We hired a lot of people. See here, not sure what's wrong with this. Viewers ask Mr. Beast or defend Mr. Beast after Rosanna Pensino leaks business document. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything wrong with this document. You see a lot of the tweets. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. It's true, and it's used more than just his company. I'm so confused. How is wanting to hire only the best employees controversial? Yeah, Jimmy is spot on here. This is a winning mentality. C players can go work on baking channels. Um, <laughs> who, who's to say all the A's are his friends? I've got a Bruh. feeling he's going to need to be trimming some of them as well. I mean, again, I don't think you know, you're know you either an A player, B player, C player. We only want A players. This is just basic stuff, right? But mm. this stuff is not basic. Uh -oh. uh, this according to Drama Alert, who seems to have <clears throat> a, a pretty, I would say, uh, live connection to a lot of the drama. Now, um, the partner of Mr. Beast's friend, Chris, you know, the biological man who many say abandoned his family and um, robbed his son of a father figure to pursue a fetish. That's what other people say. It's interesting, you know. He he he, he want to say that, but he cannot say that. You feel what I'm saying? That is crazy, bro. That is insane right now. Damn. I think a lot of people agree with that. And the recent behavior that we've seen, absolutely... <laughs> A lot of people agree with that. He's not going to say I agree with that. He does agree with that, honestly, but he's... I, I get that. I get that. I get that, but... Uh, you know, dang. looks like it to me. Um, and then, apparently, the person at the center of it all has also responded to these messages indicating that the DMs are real and suggested that only Chris and their partner, Eret, could have had access to them. So I think Chris's partner is another biological <gasps> male. So <sighs> the account claims, Mr. Beast is afraid of inflaming the situation that could anger their corporate investors. Well, duh, any idiot can know that. Um... Ava, Chris Tyson is, quote, disgusted by the person that they used to be, allegedly. Uh, it's, yeah, okay, I'm sure, because they got caught. Uh, you know, allegedly, Chris didn't know the age of an in individual. They wish they had never engaged with uh, this, the guy who drew those Sad cartoons. Man. Yeah, this is all easy to say now once you've been caught. You don't wish you didn't do that. You wish you didn't get caught. Also, yeah. Mr. Beast's team, here's a couple of kind of bombshells. There's an HR investigation into various claims, but Mr. Beast doesn't allegedly want, quote, anyone duh. to say anything publicly in case it causes more things to flare up online. Well, duh. And then... <laughs> Mr. Beast's team is Duh. preventing Chris Tyson from talking. Any response would flare stuff up, flare stuff up again. Duh! I'm sure he's paying uh, Chris Tyson to be quiet. Mr. Beast and the B CEO had claimed tears in their eyes, had alleged tears in their eyes after Chris's tweet was posted, and then later regretted it. Damn. Proper third-party investigations are being done, and everything that's been brought up. I don't believe that. Corporate investors currently do not want. For real? So after they pump the brakes, right? Mr. Beast and the B CEO had alleged tears in their eyes after Eva's tweet was posted and allegedly later regretted it. No!
That is crazy. Because yeah, uh, Chris Tyson did put up. Mr. Beast put out a tweet too, saying that they fired, uh, and then they fired uh, Chris Tyson, right? Chris Tyson also did uh, put out a tweet apologizing and basically admitting and all that. So I'm not sure which one they were crying over. Maybe over both tweets. But I think Mr. Beast was, um, I, I guess this is talking about the Chris Tyson apologizing and dropping that tweet. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe he's talking about his own tweet where he said, yeah, we're firing Chris Tyson. It, proper third party investigations are being done and everything that's been brought up. I don't believe that. Corporate investors currently do not want Chris to have any social media presence for a number of years. Well, I would argue that that's all of this <laughs> sounds very believable. It's entirely likely that all this is true just from a business perspective. And if you think of the Mr. Beast empire and you look at the behavior, uh, that his so-called friend, by the way, no friend would behave like this. You know, no friend of yours, they're not a friend of yours if they're willing to put your entire empire at risk so they can get the rocks off. That's not a friend. Yeah, um, It's important to clarify these games are being made by Drama Damn. Alert, are not being made by Drama Alert. They originate from a, quote, anonymous account, which is allegedly belonged to moderator for Chris's partner. DMs posted by this account have been indicated as real, but but by the alleged person on the other side of things. So Th this is why I always say, man, control your dragons. Don't let your control. Uh, don't let your dragons go in the, the dark tunnels. Guys, I get it. A dragon got to thro go through a tunnel. But yes, control your dragons. Don't let your dragons do the thinking for you. You got to be the one in charge, man. I'm just saying simple. OK, don't just the pom pom chase your dreams and check out this video on the screen. Recently, we had like really good leaks for GTA 6. We got gameplay leaks. Uh, we got heist leaks as well. Drug craze. A lot of the crazy stuff coming out about GTA 6. It's like good news video check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left you had insane drama about dr disrespect as well